Hi, my name is Ray Adams, Chartered Financial Planner and Director of CashCalc. I'd like to talk to you today about our Monte Carlo simulation tool. Now we've had that tool available within our suite for over three years. But over that time, we have had feedback from our users to say whilst they love the tool, they'd love it even more if we incorporated it within the cash flow tool. So with our in-house developers, we've looked at how we can do that and I'm delighted to say that we've now incorporated it within the stress testing section of the cash flow tool. So we now have it available as a standalone and as a stress test. So when you build a forecast for your clients, you can now forecast their returns using linear. You can also forecast variable returns and now you can do Monte Carlo simulation with 10,000 random returns. And that's both investment returns and inflation random 10,000 simulations. What I actually find really, really interesting is that I read in the press a lot about people's opinions on cash flow tools. And they say that, oh, cash flow tools, it can be a nonsense because markets don't perform in a linear fashion. So if you do linear or deterministic, then it's bad. And, uh, you know, it always brings a smile to my face because if you look at the 10,000 random outputs from Monte Carlo, the middle line is pretty much a linear return. And then you've got the optimistic and the pessimistic lines either side to show you the volatility around that median. I think the tool is fabulous. And one of the things I think it's gonna be really beneficial for with clients is that whilst we can forecast what we think the future may look like, you know, based on their attitude to risk, and we can do some reasonable returns, whether they be de deterministic or variable returns, I think it's great to then overlay that graph with 10,000 random returns so the client can see that out of 10,000 variables, the majority of them are either just above or just below what we are modeling anyway. But it can also show them some of the extreme examples and how likely they are. You know, and potentially some of the extreme examples may still show the client's never gonna run out of money which could be very, very reassuring for the client that even if there are bad returns, followed by bad returns, the client may well still be in a strong position. So it could give them an extra dimension of information and reassurance at the time where we're modeling the future for them. So please use the tool and as always, give us your feedback and we'll see if we can incorporate all your great ideas. Thanks very much.